Hello and welcome to My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Ponyville Days. Gee, Twy, I can't believe you have to go to Canterall. I missed the big announcement. Indeed, especially since you're the Pony of Ceremonies. That's okay, girls. I've selected the theme for this year's Ponyville Days, and I'm sure the mayor is more than capable of announcing it. Ever since I became a princess, I have urgent obligations in Canterlot more and more. So, what's the theme? Can you tell us? No, Pinky. Just a hint? No. Not even the teeniest, tiniest, it'd be baby hint? No! Alright, girls. Be sure to fill us in on the Ponyville Days planning. Sure thing, Twilight. Absolutely. And take care of things when I'm gone. Don't let anything crazy happen. I'll be back tomorrow. Looks like the whole town turned out for the big announcement. Rainbow, you gotta read on Granny and Big Mac? Got him. Over this way. It's about time they got here. They're getting ready to begin. Yep. Greetings, ponies of Ponyville, and thank you for coming out for the big Ponyville Days kickoff. As you know, Ponyville Days is a major event celebrating our history and heritage. We already know all this. Get on with it. Yeah, what she said. Shh. This will be our first Ponyville Days under the official guidance of Princess Twilight Sparkle. In order to recognize this new chapter in Ponyville's history while honoring its past, this year's theme is... Moving forward, looking back together. And to celebrate Ponyville's founding, we've decided to place a commemorative plaque on the site of the town's first structure. Why, Granny, that's the original Sweet Apple Acres homestead. You're darn tune it is. Yup. And the youngest filly of that family will be this year's Ponyville Days Princess. So, will our princess please step up? That's you, Apple Bloom. Rightfully so. Yup. Go on, little filly. They're calling ya. Where do you think you're going, blank flank? Why, I'm going up on stage to be crowned Ponyville Days Princess. What are you doing? What do you think? But the first structure in Ponyville was Sweet Apple Acres. They said the first building in Ponyville, not Hicksville. This town was built around the shop my great-grandfather stinking rich built. So I should be the Ponyville Days Princess! What's going on here? Yes, what's the meaning of this? Mayor? Mayor? Oh dear. Well, according to Twilight Sparkle, let's see. Are you telling me there's any question about Granny's homestead being the first structure in Ponyville? Well, technically, Applejack. Technically, my hoof. If the apples hadn't set up in farm zap apples for the jam you started selling, there'd be no Ponyville. That's, That's right. right. We're with you 100%, Applejack. Finally, some voices of reason. Tell them all who's right. Why, Rarity, I figured you would certainly be interested in having the plaque at the location of my grandfather's shop. And why exactly would I have any interest in that? Because his first shop is located right where the Carousel Boutique now sits. Really? With the plaque there? Ponies would never miss a trip to see such a historic location. I would become a tourist destination. Um, in all honesty, darling, do you really think Ponyville would have been built if it hadn't been for that first shop? What? I mean, why would any pony want to live somewhere that was just a farm with no shopping? Now that you mention it, I'm kind of with Rarity. This place would be boring if it was just a farm. What? When I first moved to Ponyville, Granny Smith was the first one to welcome me. Sweet Apple Lakers is the heart of this place and should be recognized. Whatever Matilda says, I'm for it too! But without stinking rich giving Ponyville a strong foundation in commerce, I'm sure a lot of us wouldn't be here now. Yes, indeedy. I don't think there's like a bowling alley Sweet Apple Lakers, is there? I see that first shop like really tied the town together. But the rejuvenation started the ingredients from the earth. Without the elements of nature, no point would have the fortitude to build a shop. The black should be a Sweet Apple Lakers. Lakers. We, we should honor stinking rich. rich. With all due respect, Rarity, I could even design an entire line of clothing around the designation. Pioneer Chic! Uh, Rarity... The possibilities are really endless when you think about it. Why, once a day we could even do a recreation of the original groundbreaking from the boutique! With a modern twist on those Pioneer outfits, of course. Hey... I guess that could be cool, as long as it didn't last too long. Now you wait a second, Rarity. If you could stop being self-absorbed and superficial for a moment, you'd... What was that? What did you call me? You heard me. Well, of course I wouldn't expect a hard-headed bumpkin like you to understand. Who you call a bumpkin? Well, I don't see any other bumpkins standing around. Break it up, you two. Applejack, is it really that big of a deal to let Rarity have the plaque? I mean, if it was at Sweet Apple Acres, no pony would even see it. Still taking Rarity's side, Rainbow? Guess I should expect that from some pony whose skull is thicker than molasses. Hey! Well, that's fine. You know, if Sweet Apple Acres is so unimportant to so many of you, then maybe we should just break off and become our own town. What about you two? Are you also traitors? Oh, well, I, um, 
I'm going to go home until this is all worked out. Does not siding with you mean I won't get first crack of the zap apple pies? Yes. Then Sweet Apple Acres Homestead it is. I'm afraid I don't have a satisfactory answer right now. We may need to wait until Twilight gets back. In the meantime... In the meantime, I'm getting away from here. Come on, Apples. Let's go to our real home. The next day... Can you believe that pony's nerve? Calling me a bumpkin and that Rainbow Dash taking her side? Them town ponies have always seen themselves as high and mighty. You know, I wonder how they would like it if Sweet Apple Acres did just break away from Ponyville. Hey, you might be onto something there, Applejack. That would show those town ponies a thing or two. You can't be serious. Why not, sis? After the way half the town treated us yesterday, maybe this would be the best. Then you'd be the Sweet Apple Acres Day princess for sure. I'm out of here. You ponies are nuts. Look at that. This princess business got Apple Bloom real upset. I'm sure it'll all blow over soon enough. I'm not so sure, Scootaloo. I don't think I've ever seen Applejack stay mad for this long. Same with Rarity. She was so angry that she was up all night sewing up a storm. And really ugly clothes, too. And on top of it all, Diamond Tiara might be the Ponyville Day's princess. At this point, I don't even care about being princess. I just want the fighting to stop. Hey, why don't you tell that to Applejack? I'll bet she doesn't even realize how upset you are. Applejack is more stubborn than 10 mules, especially if she feels personally insulted. It's worth a shot. Besides, we need to do something before the whole town turns against itself. That's right, and Applejack cares so much about you that she just might listen if you say you don't care about being princess. Maybe y'all have a point. I'm gonna go talk to Sis right now. I wonder where every pony is. It's not like Applejack and Granny to be away from the farm this time of day. Granny, there you are. What are you doing out here? And where's Applejack? Why, she's at Town Hall rallying the troops. And would you stop eating the ammo? Rallying the troops? Ammo? I gotta go stop her. Oh, can you pick me up some jelly beans on your way back? Gosh, things are really getting out of control. I gotta find Applejack. Half the town doesn't appreciate the contributions the apples have made to this here town. Which is why I'm proposing that Sweet Apple Acres and the adjacent half of Ponyville secede. Oh no, sis, I've been looking all over for you. Apple Bloom, it's about time you got here to help me. Sis, I just wanted to let you know that I don't care about being Ponyville Day's princess. I want all the fighting to stop. It just seems crazy, and it's making me miserable. Gee, you really feel that way, Apple Bloom? Yes, I really do. I don't know, you might have a point about this being over the top. I guess I can go talk to Rarity and her ponies, and see if we can settle our differences. Ugh! What is this? It came flying from the direction of the Carousel Boutique. Rarity! I'm sorry, Apple Bloom. This is officially out of my hooves. Well, ponies, the first move has been made. Now it's our turn. Granny, let them eat pie! There's the sign. Let them loose! <laughs> Did you see the look on her face when that dress hit her? Who's thick now? If she's so sure about being the founder of Ponyville, she may as well look it. Okay, unicorns, time for flying fabric! Take cover, ponies, and get to your stations! You coming, Apple Bloom? I wish Twilight were here. she knew know what to do. Twilight! She should be getting back from Canterlot any time now! Please be back soon, please be back soon! Why, Apple Bloom, I wasn't expecting you. I figured you would be getting ready to be the Ponyville Day's princess. But that's just it. We don't know if the first building was Granny's homestead or Stinkin' Rich's shop. And now Ponyville is at war with itself, with Applejack and Rarity as its leaders. <laughs> I'm sure you're just exaggerating, Apple Bloom. Let's head into town and see what's going on. Or maybe you weren't exaggerating. Twilight Sparkle! Thank goodness you're back! Now do something! Here goes nothing. Enough of this! I was only gone for one day! All of this is happening because of a commemorative plaque? I just spent the last day in Canterlot bragging about how Ponyville is special. How we all look out for each other. How we're more than just friends or neighbors, that we're family. What a bunch of nonsense. <gasps> Excuse me? Don't give me this talk about all of us being family. The last day has shown me who my real friends and family are, and half the town is not included. For the first time since yesterday, I actually agree with something Applejack has to say. But what about everything this town has been through? How we've always worked together? How we have- I just don't feel like any of that matters right now. I need to get back to Sweet Apple Acres. I've been neglecting my chores. And I need to get back to the boutique and figure out what to do with all that ghastly calico fabric. Dodging all that flying pie was exhausting. I'm gonna go crash. Eating all that pie was exhausting. I'm gonna go take a nap. What? Wait a second. Where are you all going? K 
can't imagine why any pony would waste so much pie. True. Let's just go be with the twins. What do you say, Matilda? Should we just call this a lost cause and head home? Indeed. After being covered in pie, I would think some of these ponies would be more agreeable to a mud bath. Let's go back to the spa and get some mud prepared. Are you, like, thinking what I'm thinking? Balling it is. Come, Diamond Tiara. Let's go get cleaned up. I don't want to be a stupid princess anyway. What about Ponyville days? Maybe we should just forget about Ponyville days this year. Is it all over? Yes, Fluttershy. I guess it is. What are we going to do? Look at this. Maybe we should just cancel Ponyville days. I hate to say it, but maybe the mayor is right. Cancel Ponyville days? We can't. I mean, we shouldn't. I mean... <sighs> maybe we should just cancel it. A letter from the princess? What does it say, Spike? My dearest Princess Twilight Sparkle, we are so excited about the upcoming Ponyville Day celebration that Luna and I have spread the word throughout Equestria. I'm afraid your little town might be quite crowded in the coming days. Uh, Twilight? I think you may want to come and take a look at this. Oh dear, it looks like the crowds are already on their way. What are we going to do? Well, we can, or I can. I don't know what we're going to do. Until next time.